Explain like I'm five why is there so much oil in the Middle East? Considering oil forms under compression of trees and the like, doesn't that mean there must have been a lot of life and vegetation there a long time ago? Why did all of that disappear and only leave mostly barren wasteland? Just a small correction oil and gas were created by marine plants and animals. Not land-based ones. Coal it's what was formed by dead land-based vegetation. I can answer part of this. The Middle East is not barren. There is in fact quite a bit of lush forestry and not just sandy desert as many people believe. However, this oil was formed millions of years ago when the landscape was significantly different. Plates shift over millions of years. Land is frozen and unfrozen. And new biomes emerge. To add, yes there is a lot of oil in the Middle East. It is exponentially easier to get to. With drilling like places in the Goem. You have to also deal with all the water above the rock. Safety is probably the biggest factor. A blowout on land? I mean yeah it's dangerous but just drive away. Can't really swim away from an offshore one. Fun fact. The organic material that makes up oil is from before bacteria that was able to degrade biological material had evolved. The answer is that they just happened to have it there. Oil was formed by dead marine lives over hundreds of millions of years ago where the landscapes and continents were nothing like today. Oil doesn't come from trees and plants for the most part. That would be coal. Oil is thought to come from microorganisms the Middle East as others have pointed out just happens to be located in a spot where it's easy to get to and it's high quality. But there is probably oil trapped all over the earth. A common misconception is that there are locations where lots of oil got made and others where there was very little. In actuality, it's less important where the oil was made and more important how the oil was retained. Basically, we look for oil in places that the geology formed hard domes or some sort of cap over the potential supply so it didn't just evaporate away over the millions of years. If there's plenty of oil in the Middle East, it's because lots got made and critically what happened after sealed it in. Oil is created by marine plants and animals, not land ones. Hundreds of millions of years ago, the Middle East was underwater. The life that had died there over millions of years became oil. Because the earth is hollow and filled with air and oil, the air is located under the us and the oil is located under the Middle East. Oil doesn't form from biological matter. That's a now largely debunked theory. Oil is abiotic and is formed in the earth due to heat and pressure applied to hydrogen and carbon. In the crust if it was formed from biological matter it would have oxygen in its chemical structure. Since one three a biological matter is composed of oxygen. The vegetation coverage of a spot on the earth's surface is massively changeable over geological time periods. The Sahara for example is on a cycle of green desert that's something like 20,000 years long. A blink of an eye geologically speaking. Places didn't always look the way they do now. You're thinking in two recent terms why is oil easier to get in Middle East? Is what you're thinking. You've probably heard about fracking in the news in recent years. It's getting natural gas closer to you. But it's more difficult costs more. A quick Google show that like coal and natural gas, petroleum was formed from the remains of ancient marine organisms, such as plants, algae, and bacteria. Very few trees, I think. Oil mainly comes from the remains of plankton, not trees and such. What used to be shallow seafloor in the distant past tends to be where you'll find oil. The Middle East was a large shallow sea in the past all the oil is mostly from tons of algae and phytoplankton. Plate tectonics over millions of years caused the sea to dry up leaving an arid desert. 
like seriously ancient seabed, old jungles and river delts from one hundreds of millions of years ago. I guess it would depend if you believe in evolutionism or creation. In the creation story is would be that the majority of people at the time of the flood lived in that area. The oil is the world that was buried during the flood. I am sure I will be downvoted for this but whatever.